three to the Rose. Between the Red Corner and the Ball Play and the Sunset, Cameron Topkin. And in the Blue Corner, representing the second Royal Type Resident, Boxing Team, Glasgow Will, Jake Andrews. Andrews in the Blue, Topkin in the Red. So four all in the match and uh, two to go. And this is uh, Broad Plains Cameron Tomkin against uh, Jake Andrews from the 2nd Royal Tank Regiment boxing team who's representing Gloucester and Wiltshire tonight. And uh, Craig Turner alongside me. What, what can you tell me about these two boys? Well, immediately you can see Cameron's from the, uh, from the Southpaw stance. The Royal Tank Regiment lad, he's walking into that backhand a little bit. He needs to pass it, circle that way away from the shot. Uh, both guys very aware, wide-eyed and ready to go. Yep, so local boy Cameron Tomkin from Broad Plain. As Craig said, he's the south boy in the red. And that left hand snaking round. Uh, Jake Andrews in the black and the blue head guard. Just uh, trying to work out what the task ahead of him is. The key thing is to stay out of the way of that left hand probably. And there is the left hand from uh, Tomkin. Going to be a potent weapon in this contest, you would think. There's Tomkin putting the, uh, the pressure on in the early stages. Tomkin just uh, moving in and out. Look, Flicking out the jab, getting the range, and then looking for the opening to throw something a little bigger. Left hook to the ribs of Fisher, uh, of Andrews rather. Two, uh, Jack and a Jake in successive uh, bouts there, confusing me, but Jack Andrews this is, uh, Jake Andrews this is. And uh, at the moment, it's uh, the broad plane boy is probably used doing the more effective work and the eye-catching work, but not highly scoring contest at this stage, I suggest, Craig. Not just at the moment, the cleaner stuff coming from the broad plane lad, particularly with the, with the uh, left hand. I uh, fancy if he came backhand front hook, then that would be quite a different story. But the, uh, the RTE lad making a good, uh, good account of himself. More zeal than skill at this age, because it, uh, as you remember, the noise they are still novices. Yeah. The last the evening, so, Please come up and see Cliff. He's sat there on the left. We have a sponsor. There you are, Cliff. Mike Crafter would have been there straight away. So getting ready for the uh, second round. And uh, we'll see what uh, it holds in store for Cameron Tomkin and Jake Andrews. Broad plane boy just getting a pat on the cheek and will be out to uh, try and make more progress in round number two. Steve Brooks waits for the bell. Uh, the, the bell still sounding rather sick, but uh, certainly the action we've seen here this evening has been top quality. I'm seeing some more here now. This time a little bit more attacking intent from Jake Andrews, but getting punished for it as uh, Tomkin comes back at him. Andrew's certainly showing more purpose in going forward than he did in the first round. Throws out three successive jabs, but then gets backed up again by Tomkin. Probably got the cleaner punching style at the moment. Southpaw stance of uh, Tomkin. Throwing the uh, overhand left there. Didn't really land. Tomkin steps straight back in after the break and again not huge numbers of scoring shots being landed at the moment in this one but certainly uh, Tomkin beginning to pressurise his man again in the latter stages of this round now 
and uh, at, the mo at the moment Andrew Casson really worked out an effective plan for landing his own scoring shots. Again, he's probably too busy trying to work out how to stop uh, Tomkin coming in. That's right, Knight. The South Pole Jinx, I believe they call it, and it's he's competitive, but it's not quite what we need at the moment. Good left hand again, then. Left hand and front hook, key thing to the South Pole. And the front hook came through there, good effort. But uh, as I say, plenty of zeal there still. Yeah, so Tomkin coming on strong in the closing seconds of the round. And oh, that's hurt, that's hurt him there. It's left hand to the to the ribs and he, he just momentarily stopped and winced, but fair play to him. He's uh, sucked in the air and got back to his corner. Just for a moment though, he was, he was definitely hurt by that. Corner just checking him over. Just for a split second, wasn't he? He took in a deep intake of breath. And that's right, that's right. I think it was fortunate there that Steve was on the wrong side and didn't see that. That would have been a, a protection count. But uh, certainly, as you say, nice fair play. He came back to him, uh, came back to his senses and got himself together and uh, finished quite strongly. Be a good third round. Yeah, certainly would. But I think uh, Cameron Tomkin has certainly put himself in front at this stage with uh, just one round to go. I would uh, put Bristol and Somerset one up with one to, to go in the, in the match. Very evenly contested, very well matched all th throughout the evening's proceedings. All the uh, seconds are out of the ring now, so we are able to get underway and Andrews was just staggered by a shot from Tomkin. Tomkin, though, punishing him again. Getting the body shots in once more, knowing what the effect it had in that previous round. And then two shots to the head that rock Andrews back, who's beginning to look quite tired now, having been under so much pressure and trying to protect the, that rib, I suspect. And uh, by keeping his hands low, that's it. Then uh, switching the target up top. And I think probably that's going to be it. Yeah, I suspect that's uh, taking the sting out uh, as he was previously hurt there, Knight. Um, no. Referee Steve Bruce letting it carry on. We'll see what happens again. So Tomkin will be looking to get the stoppage if he possibly can. And Andrews keeping the hands down again, protecting the, the rib area. He's very wary of it, but of course that leaves the head largely unguarded as well. Tomkin maybe just rushing it now because he can sense that he's a, on the verge of victory and maybe not hitting as clean a shots as he might do. And he's still going downstairs to the body. Just a very brave effort indeed by Andrews actually to uh, be still there at the moment. Uh, he's under a huge amount of pressure now and uh, Tomkin just pressuring him right to the end. I think though probably Andrews is going to make it to the bell now in this third and final round. It's been a brave effort from him but uh, a forlorn effort. Although fighting back well at, right at the end and uh, Tomkin also now looking tired. He's expanded an awful lot of energy himself. Energy himself. So great effort by both boys but uh, Cameron Tomkin for me, I think, Craig. Very much so. Good target awareness there for a novice from uh, Cameron. Knew he had his man to the body, so he kept uh, putting the pressure there. But as you'd expect from the Royal Tank Regiment, back they come with some fighting spirit. Very good contest. Well done to both guys. The unanimous decision to talk in the red corner.